So what right now I'm focused over, I'm going to uh, let you know how alcohol and aldehydes are converted into carboxylic acid, right? So that's where the main focus is. There's going to be some 15, 20 minutes here right now. And uh, this is going to be really useful. And this is something you cannot ignore. So like I said, I'm talking about, you know, carboxylic acid preparation. So carboxylic acid, you know, preparation I'm talking. Now, you know, uh, the force which I'm, you know, concerned to do today is uh, from is from aldehyde from aldehyde and alcohol so basically i will talk first about the alcohol and then i'll talk about the aldehyde part so what i want to say that this something is you know uh, this is not something new i have done in the previous section of you know uh, uh, that alcohol phenol and ether but also in the initial section of this very chapter where actually things was related to how carboxylic acid can be produced. So what this is here, you know, this is what uh, the first reaction, you know, I want you to understand that when an alcohol, when an alcohol is treated with, you know, a strong oxidizing agent, if it's treated with strong oxidizing agent, you know, it directly converts into carboxylic acid. It directly converts into carboxylic acid however this conversion proceed through the aldehyde also right now the question is you know what this strong oxidizing agent can be the first option i give you you know is kmno4 the first option we have option we have is kmno4 and this kmno4 you know and uh, apart from that you can also use you know k2cr2o7 potassium dichromate is another option we have right and the third option i remember is chromic oxide CrO3 CrO3 along with a small amount of sulfuric acid now but you have to understand that this particular reagent is also called John's reagent this is also called John's reagent so this is what you know strong oxidizing agent is now another thing you know I would like to add here is that only primary alcohol only primary alcohol primary alcohol you know gives you know carboxylic acid only the primary alcohol gives carboxylic acid carboxylic acid now the question is why only the primary carboxylic acid if you remember from the previous section i have told you that you know the uh, if you take secondary alcohol or tertiary alcohol what will happen the uh, secondary one will convert into ketone the secondary one will convert into ketone and the tertiary will uh, convert into alkene because tertiary alcohols are not possible to you know oxidize so you need if you are not sure what i'm talking you have to go back and you know check out previous videos uh, in the same playlist you know i'm about to complete so let me repeat back this you know uh, oxidation of alcohol converting into carboxylic acid only involves primary alcohol you cannot take secondary alcohol because secondary alcohol converts into ketone and tertiary alcohol converts into alkene right so that's something you need to find out on your own right now i'm concerned about this one now another option we have you know is like second option i'm talking about suppose you know <clears throat> from aldehyde i'm talking you know from aldehyde from aldehyde the aldehydes can be converted into carboxylic acid the aldehydes can be converted into carboxylic acid carboxylic acid but how many options are there the first option you have you know is the tollens reagent is the tollens reagent which is a mild reducing agent i have done enough enough about this one the second one you can use is the failing solution or failing reagent failing you know solution i should write failing reagent so failing reagent so these are actually you know two of the mild these are the two of the mild oxidizing agent and these are used to convert aldehyde into carboxylic acid so let me isolate these two if you use a strong carboxylic acid alcohol can be directly converted into carboxylic acid what are the options for the you know oxidizing agent you have option kmno4 you have k2cr207 and you have john's reagent also which is nothing but a combination of chromic oxide and sulfuric acid another very important thing is that these you know you know kmno4 can be used under any condition 
अंडर बेसिक अंडर बेसिक एसिडिक एसिडिक और इवन न्यूट्रल कंडीशन इवन न्यूट्रल कंडीशन सेकेंड वन पोटेशियम डाइक्रोमेट इट्स यूजली यू नो यूज अंडर बेसिक कंडीशन अंडर बेसिक कंडीशन बेसिक कंडीशन and if you want to know what is the condition required for johns reagent again it can be used under basic basic or acidic acidic or you know even neutral condition so this is what really very important is you know if you uh, if you are using alcohol as a raw material you have to use a strong oxidizing agent because that is strong oxidizing and will convert the alcohol you know into carboxylic acid however this pathway goes through the aldehyde also the problem is that you cannot stop the preparation of uh, carboxylic acid from alcohol at aldehyde level but that's something else you know i have already mentioned that you need to use a you know a reagent you know which is not that very strong so it can uh, it can stop the oxidation process at the uh, you know at the aldehyde level but that's not what i'm saying we have two option here primary alcohol and aldehyde so a primary alcohol converts into carboxylic acid when you use a strong oxidizing agent but an aldehyde can converts into carboxylic acid if you use a mild oxidizing agent what are the example these are very simple here mild oxidizing agents are tolins phenylene and strongs are k-menopore k2ch2-7n and the chromic oxide and along with the sulfuric acid so this is what now let me take you through some example and then you know we'll have to uh, practice with that so i leave it to you but let me give you some example so what now we have is uh, you know some example actually uh, suppose i am taking i am taking ethanol here right so this ethanol if you consider you know uh, the carbon to which alcohol is bonded is bonded to only one carbon so your carbon is primary one degree and that's why it is a primary alcohol this is a primary alcohol right but if you take another example like this one which is a secondary alcohol this is a two degree alcohol what that mean this is secondary alcohol this is secondary alcohol the problem is that if you use secondary alcohol for oxidation strong strong oxidizing agent agent and high temperature is required high temperature is required this does not convert carboxylic this one converts you know ketone i'm just you know putting through the product here which is going to be a ketone so this will form a ketone you cannot oxidize a secondary alcohol directly into carboxylic because it will convert into ketone but a primary alcohol if you use that kmno4 like i said earlier if you use kmno4 under what condition under acidic condition or under basic condition under basic condition or neutral condition or neutral right so this will convert into acetic acid what this one convert into this will convert into acetic acid which is also called ethanoic acid right so you can take any primary alcohol but you cannot take secondary and tertiary right that's very important part here is and another here is that if you use a tertiary alcohol something like this if you use a tertiary alcohol this is your tertiary alcohol what happened you know oxidation is not possible oxidation is not possible right not possible possible however you know however under special condition under specific condition specific condition it converts into alkene it converts into into alkene that's the problem is so the option we have from aldehyde and ketone is that we can use primary alcohol only and aldehyde i tell you what exactly a phenol uh, cannot be converted into carboxylic acid because a phenol is a secondary one right so for converting the phenol into carboxylic acid to benzoic acid it goes through a different pathway so that equation is not you know important here i'll tell you you know in a later section right so i would say you know i have to complete this right here